Uh, hello everyone, welcome to a new 10 part video of Create a Game. For this video we will be focusing on creating a Souls type game. For those unfamiliar, those are games based on the Dark Souls franchise which have become increasingly popular over the years. Over the course of the next 10 videos we will cover the following subjects. Setup, Classes, Player Character, Combat, NPC Part 1, NPC Part 2, Boss Fight, menu plus inventory, world mechanics, and world building. By the end of these videos you will have a base set up to create a fully fledged game. Yes, you'll obviously still need to put in a lot of hours, however this should help you set up a good beginning. This obviously goes without saying, but the goal is to create a Souls type game. This is not a replica. I will post a full list of assets I'm using as well, and at the end of the series I will make this available on Patreon. First off, we will be creating a new project. Given the nature of the realistic assets I'll be using, it made sense for me to use HDRP for this project. This does not imply that you need to do the same, of course, and you are free to use any version of the engine you prefer. For the majority of this series, it won't matter much either way. However, in the 10th part of the video, when we will commit to world building, it might be slightly different in terms of setup if you choose to build for built-in or URP instead. I will focus on using Infinity PBR assets, but feel free to use anything else instead. First off, we are going to install Game Creator and its modules, and we'll be using the full suite of official modules and some additional hub actions as well. With the first series, I did get a lot of questions asking why I didn't use free assets for models, environments, and animations, and you are free to do so yourself. You don't have to use any of the things I'm using. They're just models and animations. In case you're wondering why I use visual scripting and not C-sharp, it's simply because I wouldn't be able to do this in C-sharp. That's the reason I'm using visual scripting, and if you are watching this, I'm guessing the same applies to you. So now that we have our project, we're going to install a couple of things. So we're going to start off by installing uh, Game Creator um, and its modules. There we go. So I'll be using Game Creator 1 for this uh, series and the reason for that is simply that Game Creator 2 is still in beta, doesn't have full feature parity yet in terms of the available modules. So at this point um, of recording at least, um, it's more interesting to use Game Creator 1. Yes, it is a shame in some ways because Game Creator 2 does offer a lot of um, you know new advantages which would have been pretty sweet to use. Um, but we'd be missing out on, uh, on way too much um, in terms of the additional modules. So, quite frankly, right now, um, it wouldn't be fit for purpose. So, we'll be installing um, the latest version of Game Creator. And please make sure that you update to the latest version that uses the new module, because if you um, are still on an older version, could become a bit messy if you do it the other way around. So it's better to make sure it's uh, the latest version that is installed. Then we're also going to uh, import Melee. And um, most of these imports will be really short and sweet um, because the actual installation all works via the module manager. So we need behavior as well, um, stats, and I think we've got most of them um, installed now. If I am still missing some, we'll find out soon enough. Um, so let's start by enabling these. And I'll be honest, I do like to uh, install the examples. Uh, generally speaking, uh, it's just a lot easier to do that. Now, outside of um, the default modules, um, we'll be using several things from the Game Creator Hub as well. And um, in case you're not familiar, um, the Game Creator Hub is a place where we can uh, download um, free hub uh, extensions. So basically free uh, extensions or additional actions, conditions, um, things like that um, for Game Creator. 
Um, they're created by the community. Um, several of them are actually created by um, the creator of Game Creator himself. And um, it's a perfect place to basically uh, find a lot of um, you know, nice and cool additions. So we'll be using several here and I'm just going to go to, uh, you know, have the uh, home page available. So here we are on the hub and I'll put the link in the description as well. And um, we'll be needing a couple of, um, you know, couple of custom actions. So the first one, and do make sure to be signed in first. If you're not signed in, you wouldn't be able to download anything. Um, so assign object parent to variable. Um, I'm downloading this one. This is one um, you know we'll be using. Uh, we'll be using a bit later, but it's already good to have it. And then um, we're going to look up a couple of them. So um, we're going to look up orbit camera, and the orbit camera is a modification of uh, the default adventure camera. Um, it basically has a couple of additional settings, um, which is really cool. We're also going to uh, download um, uh, Action Play Melee Clip. So we're going to download that. Um, we're going to um, download Melee Upgrade as well. And Melee Upgrade actually has a uh, a couple of steps we need to follow which is um, you know quite important and the action melee uh, play clip um, basically allows us to play a melee clip um, at any given moment and actually incredibly powerful um, powerful action so in order to um, install all of these I'm going to have a, a new folder here because some of them do not actually have their own uh, folder. So we'll just do custom actions. There we go. And we're going to drag in the assigned parent to variable action, um, action straight here. So we have the script. Um, the orbit uh, camera is actually a Unity package, um, which is absolutely awesome. So we'll just install it here as well. Um, same goes for action play melee clip. Um, and we can actually drag that in Game Creator Hub. Um, it's actually a good way to do it. Perfect. So we'll get rid of this one. There we go. And then um, we're going to um, install uh, melee upgrade. Now this will be a zip file that you'll need to uh, extract and then um, once you have um, the file we basically need to replace um, all of the files that are um, you know that are going to be um, going to be replaced and as you can see there's a, a bunch of them now in order to install Melee Upgrade, um, please follow these steps. I'm not going to bore you in the video by doing this um, as it takes a bit of time. Um, so this would be a moment to just pause, follow these steps and um, install it. Cool, and once we have all of this installed, um, it's time to actually um, start importing um, some of the models you'll be using. And it is quite important to highlight here that this is completely up to you. So I will be using Infinity PBR. I put a poll on my uh, YouTube for, um, you know, where people can uh, input their preference. And there was a, an overwhelming majority that wanted to see something different um, than the regular Cinti style assets I'm using most of the time for these. Um, so we'll be using Infinity PBR. And I actually do have a lot of models um, from Infinity PBR due to a Humble Bundle. So if you bought that Humble Bundle um, that had a lot of Infinity PBR models, those will actually be the ones we'll be using. And I'll actually try to refrain from using um, you know, too much that is outside of that. Um, simply because, well, for one, it's, it's not really necessary. And two, for everyone that, like me, got that Humble Bundle, and I'm sure plenty of people did, um, you know, it's actually, um, you know, going to be quite interesting to you just use that. And we're going to start off just by importing um, the human uh, characters here. 
um, for the player. Um, that's what we'll start off with. Um, when it comes to NPCs, we're not actually going to even use models um, for the first uh, couple of videos for those, as we'll be focusing on actually getting the combat right, getting all of our system right, and only when all of that is set up properly, we'll be introducing actual NPCs themselves. So for now, um, you know, a lot of importing. Here on screen I'll put um, all of the packs I'll be importing um, just so you can follow along and don't have to watch me, um, you know, basically import and download loads of different things. Now once all of this is installed, you might see a lot of errors pop up and at least I did um, and if it doesn't happen for you um, great, but I kind of do wonder why. Now, partially this will be um, due to um, the animation set. So the animation set has um, tons of different things and, you know, all um, really cool. The, the most important part, obviously, are the animations. Now, I do like having some sounds there. Um, that's actually really cool. Um, I personally do not care for the models whatsoever. We do have models. So what I'm going to do is basically get rid of everything I actually just don't need. So that's it. I'm going to um, get rid of those things. Um, this will, uh, you know, might recompile just for two seconds and then you'll see the errors be, uh, are gone. And yeah, um, that's pretty much it uh, in order to get rid of all of those errors. Now you might want to do the same with all of the Infinity PBR. Um, want to do some cleanup um, for in case you don't need them. Um, especially when it comes to scripts, demo scenes, things like that. However, if you are interested, you can actually have a look at those demo scenes. They are pretty cool, um, pretty useful. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is um, make sure I actually install everything that is required for HCRP. Now, that's because I am using HCRP, and if you chose not to, obviously that's completely fine. Now, in order to do that, we'll have to uh, change a couple of these shaders, because the shaders simply won't work. Now, the, um, the interesting thing here is basically we have a, uh, you know, a description, but the easiest thing, as always, is to simply just use the search function, um, infinity PBR, and... Um, Accessories HCRP. Going to import that, and it will basically replace um, you know everything we uh, we need for uh, the accessory pack in terms of HCRP. Now, after using that upgrade package for the rest of the packages. Um, we will need to do a, a simple render pipeline um, upgrade from built-in pipeline and project materials. Now this will then um, you know upgrade every material that is a standard material. So if it's a custom material, it, uh, custom shader, I mean um, it wouldn't be able to update it obviously. Um, it will only do so for standard shaders. Luckily most of what is used are standard shaders. There are a couple of custom shaders including for hair um, but luckily enough there is a custom made HDRP hair shader in the package for the human characters so we're all good there and once this is done converting we're pretty much done for the first video so um, basically um, you know a setup to have everything in the project at least for the first couple of videos and later on we'll import a couple of other uh, assets uh, in order to have some diversity when it comes to the enemies as well so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next part.